everybody, it's me, Miss Catherine here with your weekly assembly. We are a day late this week and I'm very sorry about that. Um, the first thing I need to let everybody know is that Miss Debbie is out this week. So if you need something, um, come see me in Miss Debbie's office. I will be up there running snack bar um, and I'll be at her desk in the afternoon co collecting club bucks. Um, and so staff members, if you're sending somebody to the office for anything, make sure you send them to see me but in the very front office, I will not be in my office during club hours. Um, Debbie should be back next week and things will go back to normal, but for now, it's just me. So um, the next thing I wanna mention, some of you guys probably already met some new staff. Now we talked last week that some of our Howard Payne employees will be leaving over the holiday break. Um, they don't live here, they're going home to see their families, and so some of them um, will be out starting today. Some of them will be out at the end of this week, but we do have two new Howard Payne staff, um, and that is Miss Kiyomi and Miss Annabelle. And um, you guys should have already met them if they're assigned to your group. Um, I do expect that you are going to give them the same respect that you give your regular staff, help them learn your group agreements and help them learn kind of how our day-to-day -day runs here at the Boys and Girls Club. Quick reminder, we are closed, the club is closed, every day that your school is closed. So Friday the 18th, you guys have early release from school. Um, the buses are gonna bring you to the club and you will spend the whole day here. You'll get here about 12.30 um, and so the staff will plan activities for the whole day for you. So be prepared, you're gonna be here when you get out of school on Friday. And then we will be closed all the way until January 5th. Now that's the Tuesday that you guys go back to school. So when the school is closed, the Boys and Girls Club is closed. Just a reminder. So next week is our last week before we break for the holidays. Woohoo! All right, now, the thing that everybody really cares about, the only reason you watch these videos, I know, is I'm ready to announce our Youth of the Week. Now, because December is a short month here at the club, we're out for the holidays, I have decided that for this week we have three Youth of the Week. We have three people who are deserving uh, of this recognition. Now, remember, Youth of the Week earns 20 club bucks. And if I call your name, your staff member has your certificate and your club bucks. So the first youth of the week, this is somebody who's been coming to the club for a while. He is in our Lions group and he always has a fantastic attitude. He is always very respectful, um, sometimes a little quiet, and so maybe we don't give him enough recognition, but he has shown that he is a Star Club member, and so we want to recognize Drake B. as our Youth of the Week this week. Congratulations, Drake. That is 20 club bucks for you, my friend. All right, Youth of the Week number two is from our Cubs group. And this club member is always so excited to be here. He's been nominated before, but I don't think he has won Youth of the Week. Um, always has a great attitude. Is always very excited to participate in activities. He's very respectful, um, very kind and friendly to the other people in his group. So we want to recognize Mr. Evan M. as our second Youth of the Week for this week. So congratulations, Evan. Now our last third and final Youth of the Week that will be announced today, this is somebody who has shown some great improvement over the last week or so. This club member, she is in our Lions group and she had some real struggles um, with making good choices and um, reacting in a kind and positive way, but she has really been working on that and we see it and we want to recognize and reward Miss Mary B for improvements in behaviors over the last week or two. So congratulations, Mary, that's 20 club bucks and you are our third youth of the week. Now, next week we will announce some more youth of the week and we will also announce youth of the month for December. So we'll announce youth of the week on Monday for this week, and then on Friday, we'll do Youth of the Week for our last week of school, and we'll do Youth of the Month for December. So there are still two more opportunities to be nominated and win Youth of the Week. And don't forget, in order to be our Youth of the Month and get that $15 Walmart gift card, you do have to be nominated as Youth of the Week. 
All right, that's all for me today. I will see you guys later.